Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Kerbal Space Program, and I hope you guys are doing well and doing great. And uh, yeah, for today's mission, there is no really, there isn't a contract at all. Um, the whole plan for today's, well, our own mission is to go to Minmus again, and we're gonna land a probe again, but this time we're gonna try to aim for either the north or the south pole of Kerbin. As far oh Kerbin no Minmus because I want to get a little bit more science and it looks like the North Pole might be a little bit more flat to land on than the South Pole although it's not that difficult to land on Minmus as we saw but uh, I want to get a little bit more science out of it and as much as I can. What I'll do after this mission, I'll launch the same mission again to the North Pole or the South Pole, depending on where we like come in or how we want to land. Uh, I feel like we are gonna try to aim for the North Pole. And uh, hopefully there will be some uh, science to get there. And uh, yeah, and then after that, I will launch another mission, going to the opposite pole of that place. And um getting a little bit of science because I have we quickly get out of the screen I have a thing oh global warming okay no no it's just it's just the loading things I got a whole thing set up there ready to rock and roll um I have there's somewhere an alarm clock like Eve okay I want to see if I cannot set up another alarm clock quickly create an alarm uh planetary transfer window from Kerbin to Duna, which is going to be in one year. Yeah, okay. Sure, I'll add that. Um, but it looks like we might be going to Eve at some point. I don't know if we will have the parts. Now, this is why this whole mission it's for it's to get to uh Minmus first. And maybe the moon as well to get more science. As we, if we can get a couple of more science out of two, those two biomes, we can up, unlock a couple of extra things in the research and development department. And then that is um, ready to rock and roll. You know, then we can try to go for very, very far away planets and uh, get a little bit more science out of that way. That would be cool. Plus, I want to get some more science to get more parts. Because there is a space station thingy I also really, really, really want to do. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so we have this rocket over here. I enlarged the fairing, added a bunch more science thingies inside, and um, added uh, just a couple of extra kickers. Um, well, it's not really kickers or anything. It's extra engines and whatnot. Um, and, yeah, okay. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. Uh, could you go into the space center? Just want to see if there's like maybe a mission to like you know a freebie collect science from Minmus at least. I uh, just want to quickly check here. Um, position, 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 position. Oh, science data from the moon, the moon, the moon, the moon. Okay, so I think we might, I might do this off camera or something, I don't know, or we could probably plan something to go to one of the poles of the moon and just land somebody there and get them stranded there again. How does that sound? I don't know. We will see. But, you know, but, uh, enough talky talky. Let's go ahead and do this thing. So I designed the ship myself um, and I did a quick test flight just to see if everything works and uh, yeah, everything works. Properly, so I'm just gonna do that, that, and uh, pfft, three, two, one, go. Right there we go, lovely. And I'm just gonna throttle down just a little bit so we don't accelerate at lightning speeds. And uh, yeah, there we go, lovely. So when I did a test flight, everything went perfectly, like really, really, really great. I was extre extremely, extremely, extremely happy how this ship was flying, going equatorial, everything. So I'm gonna to try to replicate it here. Not going to, just gonna throw it down just a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to see if we cannot replicate that launch again 
it will be very, very, very nice to be able to do that. Very, very nice. I'm just checking out my fuels, just looking at the nav ball over here. Uh, we are experiencing some mark effects, looks like it. Little, but everything should be fine. Hunky dory, just trying to get this thing to about here. I'm gonna just pull back a little. Launch them. Whoa! Oh, I accidentally staged the fairing. Oh no. Oh no. That shouldn't have happened. Oh no, we are aerodynamically extremely unstable. Full throttle. There we go. Mission saved, but how saved? Do not know. Looks like we are sort of out of the danger zone. I'm just going to keep going this way. We still have a lot of fuel in the tank, which I'm very happy about. And I'm just going to try to flat myself. We are quite out of the thick atmosphere, so I'm going to try to get myself going this way. I'm going to try to aim for about 80,000 or 80 kilometers above. We are go definitely going into space, so I can safely do this. There we go. Flat on our orbit a little. And good enough. Okay, cool. Um, so what we're going to do is right at the apoapsis, add a maneuver. And then just scroll back. And it should be around... Ooh, that's a lot of extra delta V. Well, we have a big fuel tank on us, so not going to be too hectic. I'm going to pull these guys like so. 81, 77. And should be good. Yeah, that's a nice synchronization. I'm just going to get ourselves to point to here. My test run I did. Um, before starting this recording, it, everything went extremely well. Burnt time. I thought I, I could just want to say like something in the forty seconds or something. Okay, but it's about it's like fifteen, sixteen, seventeen seconds. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. So I'm just gonna quick save, time warp a little, a little bit more, seventeen seconds, two one. Go. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So now all we are doing is we're waiting to see that our apoapsis and our periapsis, our periapsis is still inside a planet, is getting pushed out. And as soon as it gets to around here, the, the periapsis and apoapsis are going to flip. As we can see, the periapsis is going to go to the left, and the, ap uh, the apoapsis is going to the left, periapsis is going to the right. And, uh, should be following that maneuver node indicator. There we go. Ooh, a little 79, 85. Uh, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. I uh, still have about 500 delta V in what? I want to make sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a minimus right over here. I am going to set it as a target. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn towards it. So we know. In, um, Minmus is in some sort of inclination, going down and up instead of like just flat equatorial. Um, so this might make things a little bit easier for us. We want to go for the poles, so I'm just going to go. Um, we look from the top down, put it at 12-ish, and then somewhere around where our, where our periapsis might be, a little bit earlier than that and to add a maneuver i mean a little bit later <laughs> and then we're just gonna pull on this guy put a little bit more oh moon encounter no that's not gonna help us i don't think so usually slingshots don't help at all so what we can do if i can click on the circle and drag it we can delay or hasten or encounter. Uh, something like that. 
I think that should be fine. I'm not always, I'm not 100% sure, like, how this will, how it will work out. Uh, let me just quickly see if I, he rises around there. Let me try this again. Put it at 12. 12 ish. So around here. Yeah, around, around here. Now go away. Little alarm clocky thingy. Uh, that. Then we pull it till we see a counter. Whoa, that's a little bit too much. A little bit more. Yeah, I would say around here ish <coughs> would be fine. So, what, 15, 16, 17, 18 seconds? And we are going to stage halfway through. Um, yeah, and if I can quickly just showcase, I hope it's not, yeah, it's a little bit dark, isn't it? Damn it, but there's a stage here that is supposed to be our injection stage, but we're going to use it to slow down. It's going to be so, so nice because we're going to have a lot of fuel to help us break. Um, and that means like we will have a lot more Delta V to um, do things, maybe biome hopping or something. I don't know, we will see how that goes. Um, yeah, just, and this probe, I don't care if it comes back or not. I don't think I, I'm just going to leave it there. So uh, yeah. <coughs> So what we can do is I'm going to quick save before I do a time warp. Click over here, warp to next maneuver quickly, quickly. There we go. And we have drifted a little from our thingy over there, which is not an issue. We can just correct our course again. Up, 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 up. And what I don't know, there's something about this SAS that, um, like it wobbles, they try to aim towards like something and in a dead center, no, then it wobbles back again. So I just feel like it, it's what it does is just trying to help you pinpoint a little bit more precisely. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so we, what we said, 18 seconds, round there. Um, yeah, I think that's about, oh, 15 seconds is 30. Um, 12, 15, 16, yeah, 18 seconds. Yeah, I was correct. Yeah. Okay. So it's coming up very, very, very soon. 19, go. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to count down as soon as like, uh, when I saw the timer, it's just like, no, it's already 18 seconds. You should go. And you always try, like try to do your burns um, halfway in, halfway out. So I'm just going to stage here. that there we go and as we trying to follow that maneuver and as we uh try push and push our uh, perhaps it's further out it's going to go a lot more quicker and quicker and quicker i'm going to pause there and just wait for the encounter there okay cool now we can quickly go ahead and focus the view and as we can see, we are coming in below it. What I can do is just place ourselves this way. What I should also do is try to derate this engine by a lot, about ten percent of its power. All right. I'm just trying to bring this below it. Something of that nature. I'm just trying to remember. Um, yeah, what we can do is focus our view back here. What is our path? What is this path? Oh. Okay, just, just a little bit confused about that. 
what we can do is somewhere along the lines over here, we can add a maneuver. Then we focus back on Minmus. Click on the maneuver. Now we can play around a little with the uh, little markers. So if we pull upwards, we are burning towards the planet now. So that will sort of like correct our course to come in equatorial. And then we burn a little bit radial. Uh, can I... to come this way okay let's uh pull this back let's pull this upwards and something like that more so it's 27 uh, 18, 18 is fine. I'll just pull back a little. So it's about 20 ish. Uh, can we grab that radio again? And I just missed click like an idiot. Whoop. Too much. And pull it back a little. Oops. Come on, just, just slight, slight maneuvers. Come on. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I wonder, there was mouse scroll you can do. Yeah, there's mouse scrolling you can do. I forgot. Yeah. Scroll, scroll. Yeah, there we go. And then. Go. And yeah, that's about fine. I like that. Okay, cool. So it's a 16 second burn and we derated our 16 meters per second burn. We did derate our engine to 10 seconds or 10%. And that means like we have to go in about four ish, four seconds remaining. So yeah, we're gonna burn sort of in this direction, which is good. And okay, I'm just gonna Right click over here, going to quick save, focus back on ourselves. And then all I'm gonna say is click over here and then say warp to next maneuver. There we go. Okay, so we're still aiming correctly. So I'm going to climb warp a little bit faster. Then four, three, two, one, go. Right. Following the maneuver. Okay, uh, one tick of shift. A bit faster. And that should be good enough. Okay, let's check out our orbit right now with Minmus over here. Focus view. Right. Just do this. Okay. Looks good. All right. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I am going to put a cut in the video here and then next episode we're coming in not 100 percent on the on the yeah what, what let's just quickly check if we can maybe correct it if we say something like over here add a maneuver okay i uh, just want to focus back on minmus which way should we burn Okay, so it's a little bit of, I will drop our periapsis actually quite some distance, but it's fine. So let's point to this little node over here, but not the node itself. We 
of shift. Something like that. And then just want to do this. We're at a maneuver. Then we burn outwards. Yeah, okay. So let's go look for that little symbol. It's this one. I'm going to click on here and then just bring our periapsis up to about 20 ish from there. There we go. Hopper. Okay, cool. I'm going to end off the episode here. Thanks so much for joining me here on Kerbal Space Program. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.